Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela and I make diamond painting videos here on this channel. Welcome back to another diamond painting vlog. If you aren't new to this series, basically I take you through a week of everything diamond painting. We talk about new releases coming out, um, if I have any diamond art club orders or dream designs orders or <laughs> any diamond painting orders. We go through those as well, so I hope you stick around. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I am a fun time. But anyways, you guys, welcome to another week. I think we're on like week, what are we on, 11? Hold on, now I need to double check because I'm pretty sure we're on. You guys, this is the 11th vlog that I've done. I cannot believe I've been doing this for almost three months now. That's actually kind of insane. But we have a few sneak peeks to talk about. Um, but what I do want to mention quick is that Diamond Art Club, so last week, Diamond Art Club released a painting called Esmeralda and I believe it's by Genovia Arts. I believe, let me, I should definitely be, <laughs> double checking before I vlog but let's see it's right here yeah by Genovia Art I think that's how you pronounce their name long story short this piece has been discontinued um because the piece was using AI um like the artist used AI to create the artwork and there's a lot of a lot of stuff in between that I'm not catching or I guess expressing, but um, Diamond Art Club did discontinue the piece because basically Diamond Art Club was unaware that that piece had basically been created fully with AI um, and they have specific rules that they like to follow with their AI artwork. So I just wanted to put that out there in case um, you were interested in that piece and you were just waiting for a restock. Um, it will not be restocked unfortunately but yeah I wanted to give you guys an update on that because that has been a little bit of a topic of conversation over the last day um but anyways so Diamond Art Club is releasing three new mystery kits um tomorrow at 9 a.m pacific or 12 p.m eastern um when I go through the mystery kits I don't spoil anything basically I insert the picture that Diamond Art Club provides basically the color scheme in the background and then a, a question mark um, so nothing is spoilers. Um, if you do want spoilers though of the kits, I recommend joining a mystery, a Diamond Art Club mystery Facebook group. And, um, in those groups, they kind of talk about what they think the artwork will be. And then, you know, when people work on them, they post pictures. So we have three of them coming out tomorrow, which is a lot and I'm very excited. So let's get into the first one. The category is nature. The artist is the art of Bob Doucette. And the description is drift drift into a luminous water ballet, surrender to the silent symphony, humming with life's vivid masterpiece. The colors on this one looks really, really pretty just based off of this screenshot. Um, super pretty. I'm in those mystery Facebook groups and just from the different pictures that people were posting, I don't think he's specifically my art style 100%, so I will be passing on this one, but I know a lot of people seemed really, really excited about it, so it's very exciting that they're having some of his artwork come to Diamond Art Club. I don't think he's ever had any pieces with Diamond Art Club. His name is not familiar, so very exciting for everyone who's been wanting it. And then the next one we have, the category is Animals Whimsical, and the artist is Jeremiah Kettner, and the description is Rome, rounded hills of happiness and valleys of pastel glories. Say hello to a friendly fur baby who enjoys a bit of sparkling rain. I saw some people's guesses in the mystery group, and they're all super duper cute. You simply can't go wrong with a Jeremiah Kettner, if I'm being honest. I have Cyber Owl by Jeremiah Kettner, and it's so stinking cute. That's like been one of the only ones that's like called out to me for diamond painting specifically. Um, I don't think I'm gonna pick up the mystery kit just because I feel like if I'm on the fine, like on a on a on a line of it, it's kind of like meh. Probably gonna pass on it. Um, but I am very excited. The colors look really stunning again on this one too. A bunch of blues and purples it looks like just based off of the picture. Um, so yeah, that is the second sneak peek. And then for the third one, we have a category landscape nature and the artist is Steve Sundrum. And the description is step into nature's kingdom where every creature plays its part in the symphony of life through the interconnected dance of all its beings, the earth's beauty endures. You know, I, you can't go wrong. And people, again, in the mystery VIP, or not the VIP, the just the mystery group, not the VIP group, the mystery group, people were posting their thoughts. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know this artist had so many beautiful pieces of art. I don't know if I've ever seen them. Um, 
yeah, this artist like isn't 100% on my radar always, so it was very cool to see some of their artwork kind of posted as guesses. Um, very, very cute, and I think that if he were to come out with some of those pieces just strictly as normal diamond paintings, I would totally pick them up. Very, very gorgeous stuff. But yeah, those are the three mystery kits that are getting released tomorrow. Let me know in the comments because obviously this video is going up way later than tomorrow. So let me know in the comments if you guys picked up any. Um, like I said, I'm going to pass on them, but I am very excited that they are releasing three. That's awesome. Um, but then we got one sneak peek from Dreamer Designs and it is Cooking in Paradise by Alex Sundor. This is a square drill kit in a 60 by 60 centimeter, 70 colors with seven ABs. I really love the original artwork of this. I'm not sure I understand the 60 by 60 size point. If I'm being honest, I think it might be a little, little small. It doesn't look like it's capturing all the details that well. I think this definitely could have been better if it was either a 60 by 80 or 80 by 60, whichever. I'm terrible with like measurements, but I think it would be better if it were um, that measurement to be honest, but it is really, really pretty though. I don't think I'm gonna pick it up, but it is really, really cool and I love the interior. I think that's very fun. So those are the sneak peeks we have so far today. I got off work not too long ago. It's still bright outside at 445. I love it, I love it. We're getting more sunlight, I'm here for it. Um, here comes spring, maybe soon-ish. We haven't, we have been in the 50s in Wisconsin this week a little bit, like this is, this is crazy. This is a really crazy. Um, fake, fake spring. Fully understand we're probably gonna get like three more snowstorms before the end of the season, but here's hoping we don't. But anyways, you guys, I am gonna relax, eat dinner at some point. I'm not too hungry right now. And I'll catch in with you guys probably, probably tomorrow, maybe later, we'll see. Hi friends, happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, February 21st. I just got home, it is 7.20. Actually, I got home around like seven and then I showered. And now here I am, I'm cozy in my PJs. I have my like emotional support blanket. And I also have a nice like wine glass full of bubbly water. Unfortunately, it's not actually wine. That might be on the shopping list though this weekend. And then I also have my book. I'm currently reading The Catch by Amy Leah. So good, it's the third book in her Influencer series and I have loved every single one I've read. This one is no exception, it's so good. I highly recommend. Um, but anyways, you guys, hi, happy Wednesday. I was, I was in the office today, it was an office day. Um, it went by so fast and um, my job like catered in lunch today for Black History Month they did like a lunch catered in from a black owned restaurant in like the Chicago area. It was really, really good. So that was fun. But anyways, hi guys. We have a few more sneak peeks to talk about today. Um, the mystery kits from Diamond Art Club released today. I'm gonna quickly just take a look and see if any of them sold out. I don't think any of them did. They still have animals, nature, and landscape. No, I think... I don't think any of them sold out. So yeah, if you, I mean, I guess by the time this video goes live, they might be, but um, you never know. But anyways, you guys, before I get into the sneak peeks, I want to just talk about um, Hannah Lynn and Diamond Art Club. I touched on this more in my Diamond Paint and Chat video from Monday. So if that's something you wanna hear more in depth about, um, go back to that video. But Long story short, Diamond Art Club and Hannah Lynn are no longer going to be working together. Hannah Lynn will no longer be licensed with Diamond Art Club, which is obviously very unfortunate, very sad news for the Diamond Art Club community. Um, but Hannah Lynn made a post on her Facebook page, and I'll try to do my best to kind of consolidate it. Basically, it sounds like Diamond Art Club and Hannah Lynn still have some new kits releasing. There's some inventory to clear out and the contract expires in April. Um, it seems to me that she will still have some new kits releasing, which is really, really exciting. Um, there's like a couple I'm like hoping will still release. Um, I really like Hannah Lynn, but I'm personally very particular about my Hannah Lynn's, um, but I love her coloring books. If you guys have never colored before and if you're a part of the diamond painting community Hannah Lynn's a good coloring book artist too that way you can get all of her artwork in a coloring book obviously it's not like art like well it's not like colored art because you have to color it yourself but you know what I mean um and then it sounds like she is in the works potentially to work with one of three maybe this is all like not not confirmed but she did say that there are three companies that she's in talks with for releasing new kits and they are Oraloa, Dreamer Designs, and 
Jakaru puzzles. I've never heard of them before, but apparently they're like just starting to do diamond painting kits and apparently they're good. So that's exciting. I personally am a fan of Dreamer Designs and hope that she licenses with Dreamer Designs. Oraloa would not be the worst thing. I've never tried Oraloa, but I've heard good things. Um, I don't think you could go wrong really with any of the companies. I'm hoping just whatever she ends up doing makes her happy. So yeah, <laughs> that's my spiel on Hannah Lynn. Oh, I'm really sad though that her license is expiring for sure, but that's okay. This is why if you guys really like a piece of art and you feel like you can't live without it, definitely pick it up when you can. Um, because you never know but also if you don't end up with a piece of art that you really really like a good option is buying the print directly from the artist's website or etsy shop i think that's a really great way to support the artist unfortunately like you can't like diamond paint it if it's a print but anyways <laughs> let's just get right into the first sneak peek we have diamond art clip to begin with and the first piece is keeper of constellations by andrea traumatulo available in a 30 by 22 inch or a 76 by 55.8 centimeter round drills with 44 colors including two ab's and three fairy dust this is like a pretty big piece i mean a 78 by 55 is pretty big um and it's in rounds and i think the round rendering looks really really good this is going to be like a lot of dark colors, so if you're into that, but it's super cool with like the galaxy kind of background, kind of outer space theme. And then you have, what is this, a lion or a tiger? Why am I so terrible at telling the difference between a lion and a tiger? That should not be so challenging. Is that even? I don't know. My name is Michaela. I don't know animals. <laughs> Literally, if you guys have watched any of my coloring videos, I'm like, I don't know animals, but here's a picture I color. Um, no, this is gorgeous artwork, and I feel like a lot of people are really gonna like this. Um, but oh my gosh, I really thought I had I this happens every time. I have a separate folder in my phone where I add all of the pictures into so it's easier for me when I film. Clearly, I just am forgetting to put them in the folder. Uh, <laughs> moving on into the next sneak peek. This is from Dreamer Designs. Also, why am I not focused? There we go. The next piece is Feeling Blue by Susan McGivern. This is a square drill kit in an 80 by 60 centimeter, 47 colors with three ABs. I love this. It's like a little fairy sitting on a mushroom. Again, another very dark color palette, I feel like. Um, a lot of blues. If you're into blues, you would love this. I really like this. I think this is super cool. I'm glad it's a square. I think a square works really well with this. Um, I don't think I'll be picking it up, but I do think it's really, really stunning. And I really love the mushroom. I don't know why. I think that's so cool, but... Yeah, that is that. And then we are moving back into Diamond Art Club. We have Turning of the Seasons by Denise Dundon slash sage, sage Brush, available in a 31.5 by 23.6 inch or an 80 by 60 centimeter. Square drills with 75 colors, including four ABs and two fairy dust. This is so stinking cute and colorful. Oh my God. Also probably so confetti heavy. Um, I think this will be like a ton, a ton of confetti. So if you're into that, you might like it. But I think it's really cool because like each couple of sections, you're going to get like a new color scheme. And it's going to be just like one big section of that color scheme. I think that's really, really cool. This is really well done. I like this one a lot. Um, I don't think I'll pick it up. It doesn't seem like something I'd want to diamond paint necessarily. But I do really, really love the artwork. And I think a lot of people are really going to like it so that is that sneak peek and then the last one we have is moon magic by chrissa bug available in a 22 by 34 inch or a 55.8 by 86 centimeter square drills with 40 colors including one ab two iridescent and one fairy dust i love chrissa bug chrissa bug has really grown on me i've always appreciated her artwork but i haven't always like been in like like thought about diamond painting it this is really Oh, this is so stunning. Oh my God. I love her, but I'm going to try to be a little pickier and I don't think I'm going to pick her up, but I really do think she's very, very pretty. I know, just know everybody's going to love it. Oh, I love, I really like Chris Bug though. I follow her on Instagram and I just love everything she posts. So yeah, you guys, those are the sneak peeks that we have today. Oh, you guys, it has been the longest day, even though it went by really fast. Like, it's just, it's been a long day. What I'm going to do tonight, actually, is just, like, probably lay and read. 
um, if I don't like fall asleep beforehand. I'm so tired. So I'll probably just catch in with you guys tomorrow. I'm not going to do any diamond painting tonight, but tomorrow we are getting a diamond art club package. So that is exciting. Um, otherwise, I don't think I have much else to add. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. Hi friends. Happy Thursday. It is Thursday, February 22nd. It's officially my weekend. I took off work tomorrow because for the last like month, I've just been thinking like, God, I need a day off. So I just took a day off. And it's nice because Fridays are half days for us anyways at work. So I was able to just use a half day PTO and not a full because pretty stingy now about my full ones due to the fact that we get half day Fridays. So anyways, hi guys. It has been, it's been a day. It's been a week. It's been like a year, but here we are. I hope everyone had a good day. We have a few sneak peeks to talk about, but first, oh my God, you guys, you guys, today was like nearly 60 degrees here in Wisconsin. Yesterday was also nearly 60 degrees in Wisconsin, which is like all great, all perfect. Perfect. I just went to the library, got back from the library. It was so beautiful out. I drove with the windows down. But you guys, you guys, I think I talked about this a fair amount back in like September, October. Box elder bugs are like the worst bug on the planet. Okay, it's probably not the worst bug. They're pretty like chill for the most part. But you guys, I have literally nonstop been having to like suck them up in my vacuum. I killed four today killed four of them it's february in wisconsin i should not have had to do that it's been like an ongoing battle though for the last like since september i remember in september i don't think i ever i never showed you guys and i don't really know if i talked about this my windows were like lined with box elder bugs it was literally the nastiest thing it was absolutely disgusting also i'm sorry if you guys don't like bugs i don't like bugs either um let me know though actually in the comments do you guys get box elder bugs um because apparently we do and i i had never heard of them until this year and they are literally the bane of my existence but anyways we have four cute sneak peeks to go through so let's start off with diamond art club we have cozy puppy by au clair studio available in a 35.4 by 23.6 inch or a 90 by 60 centimeter square drills with 73 colors including four fairy dust no ab's okay this is like the second kit we've kind of come across in recent in the recent times that no ab's just fairy dust um this is really 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 cute um i don't think i'm gonna pick it up because i don't know it like it doesn't speak to me, I feel like, the way some of the other dog ones have in the past. However, I do really think this is adorable, and I'm excited to see a sneak peek for this, hopefully, tomorrow. Um, I really like the cozy aesthetic, though, of it with, like, the books in the background, the dog is just in the bed. It's very, very cute. Don't get me wrong, it's really, really cute. Um, but yeah, this one's, I, I really do like it. I just don't know if I'd want a diamond paint. It also seems a little dark, um, like the color scheme, but I'm sure there aren't as many dark colors like in the actual rendering, but it is really cute though. And then moving on into dreamer designs, we have Tribal Rainbow Goddess by Spirit of the Rainbow. This is a round drill kit in a 60 by 80 centimeter, 68 colors with eight ABs and two crystals. This has so many special drills oh my gosh I still have to like look at a kit from dreamer designs that has crystals because I'm intrigued and I don't know I don't know if I've ever seen the crystals like I know I haven't seen them in person but I don't really recall ever seeing them on like a TikTok or anything either um or in like any Facebook posts but this piece is really really cute um I don't know if spirit of the rainbow is AI works with AI um I really don't know I do think this painting is stunning and I saw a lot of comments that were like, oh, this one's going to go really fast. So I don't know, maybe this one will go really fast and if you want it, you might want to grab it right away. Um, but it's in round also, so that's exciting. Um, I feel like this is a good one for rounds um, just because there's not a ton, a ton of detail, but like obviously there is some detail, but not like a bunch. So moving on into the next Diamond Art Club sneak peek, we have Witch's Brew by Ashwood Arts, available in a 22 by 28 inch or a 55.8 by 70.6 centimeter round drills with 67 colors, including two ABs and four fairy dust. This is so cute. This is one of these pieces though that I wish was in squares, but honestly, it might save me a little bit of money because I don't think I'm going to grab it if it's in rounds. Like if I feel like I sound like I hate rounds now. I don't 
hate rounds. However, I will admit that I do have a stronger preference for squares, and I feel like whenever I'm thinking of a kit I want to work on, I don't usually, my first thought isn't really rounds, and I feel like I have a lot of rounds. I feel like I'm probably going to slow down on rounds, just because, like, unless I really, really, really like the artwork, I feel like I don't need any more rounds, you know? Especially if I enjoy squares more. I really do love this artwork though. I think it's really um, witchy and fun. I love like the cauldron um, and all of like the books. I think this is really, really fun. Oh, I really wish this wasn't squares. It's super cute though. So I'm excited to see people work on it in the VIP group. Um, but the last sneak peek's really, really fun. This is Penny the Pretty Poodle by Peggy Collins, available in a 25.6 by 25.6 inch, or a 65 by 65 centimeter. Square drills with 51 colors, including two ABs and four fairy dust. You guys, this looks exactly like my brother's dog, who's also named Penny. She's a mini poodle. I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture of her as well. Um, you guys, this one's really, really cute. I really wish Peggy Collins was my style. This is kind of like, I really wish she, like it was my style and wanting to diamond paint because I do think it's really cute. Number one, like the actual puppy itself is incredibly confetti heavy which I don't hate I like confetti for sure um but I don't know if I like this piece enough specifically to deal with all of that confetti and then the entire background is just straight up black now granted I think it'll look really really good done that way um and like maybe a consideration for the future maybe but she looks just like my brother's dog Penny um so I just thought that was really really cute but anyways you guys those are the sneak peeks that we got today I think so far this week, I'm like safe from the new releases, which is great for my wallet, for sure. For my heart, not so much because I'd love to purchase something, but like my wallet's pretty happy. Um, but obviously tomorrow is a whole new day. It could be a whole new story. We might be getting something that's been like crazy on my mind. I don't even know what that would be, to be honest. You know what I do think? It'd be really, really fun to get one of these days. There's like a kawaii gamer girl by like Ivy Dolamore, and that is one I've been anticipating for like a really long time. I don't know if it even made it through like the voting in regards to like getting enough votes to even be a diamond painting, but I feel like it was in voting. I really really want that piece so bad so like maybe I'm manifesting it give me the kawaii gamer girl <laughs> but anyways you guys um I am gonna figure out dinner here soon and actually I need to call my nephew because it's his third birthday and the craziest thing about it is that I remember the week he was born I was at my sister's house I was watching her dog Dexter and um I was vlogging during that time which is crazy that was three years ago I've been on YouTube for three and a half years almost I started in November of 2020 so I've been on YouTube for so long I feel I mean it's not that long but like I mean, this is, this is kind of crazy. Like, I've been on YouTube for a while, like, getting close to three and a half years, so, yeah. But anyways, I need to call my nephew, so, <laughs> um, I will chat with you guys either, actually, I will catch back in with you guys later, because I do have a Diamond Art Club package I need to show you guys. Hi, guys. Okay, so I showered, and I'm in my PJs now. I'm wearing my very comfy sloth pajama pants. We love it. Um, I remember... Last night, I told you guys that I was going to read because I was tired from after work. So I was just going to sit on my couch or on my chair and read. Um, you guys, the way my book sat in my lap the entire night, I did, <laughs> did not open it once. Um, I was so tired last night. I crashed at 9.30. Like, I went to bed at 9, went into bed at 9, and then I just, like, was on my phone. And then I'm like, my eyes are not staying open. Went to sleep at 9.30, slept throughout the entire night like a baby, and my alarm woke me up at 7. Normally, I wake up in the middle of the night, and, like, I don't know, I just, I wake up, and I, weirdly enough, I, like, check my phone, I use the bathroom, all that stuff. So, didn't happen last night, but I just wanted to catch you guys up on that, because I know I mentioned it yesterday. But, anyways, quick little Diamond Art Club haul for you guys. First of all, we have Scorpio by Au Clair Studio. Look how gorgeous she is. Hopefully, if I think it's focused. <laughs> She's so pretty. I love how purple she is. I also got The Fantastical Forest by Becca Tyndall. Oh, look how stunning. This is so gorgeous. Um, I love Becca Tyndall a ton. I've mentioned it a lot. Um, I really like her stuff. It's very like outer spacey, magical fun. So very much am excited about that. But anyways, you guys, I am also, I'm just like, oh, it's a drill. I'm like, what is, I found a random square drill on the floor, which is interesting because I don't know if I'm actually working with this color. Um, it's gonna 
throw it in the trash Ooh, I don't know if it made it in the trash but whatever um anyways I'm gonna diamond paint listen to my audiobook um I started a new audiobook it's called shipped but I don't know who it's by I'll try to remember to tell you guys tomorrow but I'm gonna listen to my audiobook and diamond paint and I'll probably just catch in with you guys in not in the morning but at some point tomorrow hi friends happy Friday it is Friday February 23rd TGIF, thank God it's Friday. <laughs> I'm pretty happy even though I took off work today anyways. So yesterday was kind of like acting like my Friday, but anyways, we have a few more sneak peeks. It's currently only 12.50, so we still are waiting on one more sneak peek from Diamond Art Club. Um, but let's just go ahead and get right into the first sneak peek we got today from Diamond Art Club, which is Sunset Crossing by Will Cormer, available in a 27.6 by 44.5 inch or a 70 by 113 centimeters square drills with 63 colors including four ab's and three berry dust this one is huge i was watching the sneak peek for this one there are two like bags of drills like two big like bags of drills so this is a pretty large canvas i don't know many canvases that have like come with two bags of drills like you know you guys know what i mean like wrapped up like two of those um oh, this is really stunning artwork um, I love the colors. I just love all of like the like pretty blues and purples in this piece. I think it's stunning. I don't think I'm going to pick it up, but I do really think it's stunning. Um, so that's a very exciting piece to release this weekend. And I love the like light coming out of the lighthouse. Um, very fun. So that is the first sneak peek. And then we have another Diamond Art Club. We have Wizard's Spell by Steve Sundrum, available in a 37 by 27.6 inch or a 94 by 70 centimeter square drills with 88 colors including five babies and three fairy dust oh my god so many colors in this canvas and this is like a confetti lover's heaven to be honest it's so so stunning um i really like steve sundrum's work i looked him up after i might have actually mentioned it in this video i looked him up after his um mystery kit released and while the mystery kit the one that released and this one aren't necessarily stuff i would want to diamond paint i think his stuff is stunning and there are things that i think that might be released from him in the future that i, I really would buy yeah i guess it was just both images this week i just like was like meh like I, I really like it don't get me wrong but like i don't know the best way to explain it i like feel like i sound negative that's not at all what i'm intending regardless this is really really stunning very colorful and i'm sure a lot of people are very much gonna like it and then the last sneak peek we have so far is from dreamer designs and it is toucan with heliconia flowers i i have a feeling that's not correct by sandra trubin uh square drill kit a 40 by 50 centimeter 59 colors with 10 ab's this is a lot of ab's it's a pretty small kit um well i mean 40 by 50 centimeters like, isn't like that small but um, I think it's perfect for the artwork. I think it's the perfect size for the artwork. This just looks so, so incredibly colorful. Oh my goodness. And yeah, 10 ABs. That has just got to be everywhere. And I'd be very curious to see where all those ABs are going. But this is really cute artwork. Not something I'm going to pick up, but very cute nonetheless. But anyways, you guys, I don't know. I, I, my brain is like only half working if I'm being honest. It's just, it's been a day so far. Ugh, but anyways, I'm gonna edit this video um, up until this point because the goal is to get the video up tonight. Um, I've been trying to, at least the past like two weeks, so last week and today, I'm trying to get the videos up Friday night because I think that is more beneficial for a lot of people than getting it up Saturday morning. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna edit a little bit and I will be back for the final sneak peek. Hi friends. Okay, so I'm in my chair. I've just been here for the last like two hours at this point i edited the vlog up until this point which is fabulous we will get this video up by like six o'clock which i'm grateful for um so i edited and then i actually finished ugh, the book is at the bottom of the pile okay i showed you guys earlier the catch by amy lilia four and a half stars honestly like maybe could have even been a five star but i gave it four and a half i really recommend her entire influencer series um so good i loved every book i think my favorite was x's and o's which was the second one um but all three you cannot go wrong amy leah is one of my favorite authors um she writes really great romances so highly recommend um and she's also canadian just a little fun fact so anyways you guys um we have two more sneak peeks i really thought we were only getting one but we got two which is awesome also 
<laughs> also, okay, I was like, why did I just get another text that there were more restocks? I don't know why I got the text twice, but um, we have two more sneak peeks right when I thought I was safe, but it's the last one we're gonna talk about. But first, <laughs> first of all, from Diamond Art Club, we have Blushing Moon by Molly Harrison, available in a 22 by 29 inch or a 55.8 by 74 centimeter round drills with 70, 72 colors, including four ABs and three fairy dust. I really like Molly Harrison. Uh, I think her work is always really, really adorable. She also makes coloring books, fun fact, if you guys did not know. But um, this is really cute. And I think the round rendering looks honestly incredible. I think it looks really good. Um, I don't think I'm going to be picking this one up. However, I do really love the artwork and I know a lot of people are going to love it. I feel like it's been quite a bit since we've gotten the Molly Harrison release. So I know a lot of people are very excited about this one. So I wonder that one might be one that goes a little fast um, tomorrow just because I feel like Molly Harrison is so loved. So we'll see if that one ends up going quickly. But the last... The last sneak peek, you guys. Witch's Flower Shop by Mrs. Butter D. Available in a 20 by 28 inch or a 50.7 by 70.6 centimeter. Round drills with 64 colors, including four ABs and three fairy dust. I literally earlier in this vlog was like, I need to slow down on my rounds unless I really like a piece of artwork. I really like this artwork. <laughs> I know I was on the fence about Mrs. Butter D's last release, um, I'm Here for the Food, and I think the biggest thing for me was just the background was just like one straight color, and that was the thing that I wasn't loving. This one has a background with some detail in it. I love the image, I love the flower shop vibes, and I love Mrs. Butter D. I have a feeling I'm gonna get it tomorrow. <laughs> and also they did a restock of a landscape I've been having my eye on for a while, so I'm probably gonna pick those two up, honestly, tomorrow. And I have no shame. I have no shame at this point, <laughs> but very gorgeous piece. It looks like Katie from Diamonds and Washi just uploaded the sneak peek, so I'll definitely have to watch that tonight as well, probably after I finish editing this. Um, but yeah, anyways, you guys, that is it for the vlog today. Um, Oh, one more thing I kept meaning to, meaning to say, and I'm looking over here because it's my window. I don't know if it's hard or easy to tell. It's, it's snowing. <laughs> it's, it's snowing outside. Yesterday, the day before, like, basically all week was 50, 60 degrees. It's like 20, 28, 30 degrees today and snowing. Like, it is kind of crazy how Wisconsin can just change up just like that. Um... <laughs> But, and then next week again, it's supposed to be in the 60s again. I, listen, so many problems. So many, so many global problems, right? <laughs> but, you know, this is just, this is just Wisconsin too. But anyways, you guys, okay, now I'm really gonna end the vlog off here. I had a lot of fun filming it this week. And despite the fact, and I know I've mentioned this a couple times, despite the fact that I haven't had the best last couple of months, um, these vlogs are something I always know I can come to and feel comfort. And I love talking diamond painting with you guys. And it seems like you guys are enjoying the vlogs. And yeah, I, I really appreciate you guys so, so much. So thank you so much for watching this video today. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.